Hey everybody, this is Kim Danke coming to you live, a late night live with a little Pampered Chef show. And I'm just gonna continue telling you my story about this Pampered Chef thing. I joined in January and went like gangbusters. It was a lot of fun, but then I got busy and I've been not been able to do so much. Hey Polly, how are you? And when you hop on, say hello. I'd love to know that you are here. So anyway, then I wasn't gonna do it anymore just because I don't really have time, but then I got a pretty hefty tax bill that was not pretty. And I was able to write off some things because of my Premier Designs jewelry business. Well, my Premier Designs jewelry business went out of business on December 31st. Well, this Pampered Chef thing will give me the same write-offs as that other thing did, so I decided to keep it. Well, in order to stay a consultant, you have to do $150 every other month, which is really no big deal. It's not like a big order or anything, and it's very, very doable, but I'm down to the wire. Need to place that order by December 31st. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've gotten, but the coolest thing I'm gonna start off with is this avocado tool. Okay, this is our new avocado tool. So there is a smooth edge on this side of the knife and there's a serrated edge on this side of the knife. And then there is a piece in here that is gonna grab the pit and cut it out. So that's what I'm gonna show first. So I've got this avocado here. And those of you that like avocados, this thing is brilliant. So the serrated edge is what is going to easily cut through. It's gonna easily cut through this avocado. Okay, so I just cut through the avocado, all right? Then you've got your smooth edge. The smooth edge is there to put right next to the skin on the inside, and then you have just cut, this avocado's gotten a little mushy. and you just kind of scoop that out. And there it is, and you can cut it in slices if it weren't so mushy. And then, this part right here, you just pop, I'm not doing that very good. You pop that on there. <laughs> anyway, when you have a better, when you have a <laughs> avocado, Anyway, there's the scoop. I made a mess out of this avocado, but somebody that knows how to buy avocados, this thing would just pop on there and you pull it out. You might wanna watch the video on that because I didn't do so hot. Now I gotta wash my hands. So anyway, that's the avocado tool, which in all the videos that they showed worked great. Um, now, the other thing that I got is this, this powder sugar shaker. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny, Patty. That is funny. But you know, I bought that avocado because I thought, I've got to show everybody this avocado and it has been sitting on my counter for some time, so it got a little soft but this is a powdered sugar shaker, but I don't use it as a powdered sugar shaker. Oh, by the way, if you see anything on here that you like, just say avocado tool sold. Powdered sugar shaker sold. And what'll happen is I will just put it in an order and I'll call you and take your credit card number over the phone. But I love this powdered sugar shaker. And let me show you, this is the sugar that I use. This is Swerve, okay? So this is an alternative sugar. This will. Uh, this has zero calories in it, and it's not gonna bring, uh, regulate, uh, uh, I mean, elevate your blood sugar, so you'll do that. And then I have cinnamon in it. And then I just made this, and then I use a category two fibrous carb bread. If you are a Shibboleth member, you'll know what I mean by that. And then I just put a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter on there, and I sprinkle it with this. So powdered sugar shaker, which is fabulous. The next thing is, I got this mesh, these mesh colanders. 
The middle mesh colander is over there in the sink because I used it this morning to make that rotini that we, we that Patricia Hurt and I used this morning in our food demo at the Kennesaw Shibby Shop. But these things are fabulous. So it comes in a set of three, three stainless steel mesh colanders. I use the middle size the most. Okay, this thing, so comment sold mesh colanders if you like that. This one right here, this is a uh, cut and slice. Now this is pretty neat, watch this. If I were to put like little grape tomatoes in there, do you see how that center part is pushing down? I can put those grape tomatoes in there and then I close this and they won't get squished because that bottom part pushes down. And then you take a knife and you slice the knife. I was gonna go get one, but you can get the picture. You can slice the knife through there and you can cut those little grape tomatoes for your salad. But what I, the reason I got it is because I like chicken that's thinner and then I can put it in the air fryer or the pan and that sort of thing. So when I get a chicken breast and put that chicken breast down in there, I close this up, I take my knife and it will make a nice little way to slice that chicken breast um, all the way through. So this one is called the cut and slice. And then Miss Polly, I know you're watching right now. I'm pretty sure you just you just bought these from me. Do you like these, Polly? Tell us if you like these. So these are the nesting, clear nesting measuring cups. What I like about it is this one's pretty, pretty big. This one goes up to four cups. And then this one is up to two cups. This one is up to a cup. And this is just a little baby one for quick, small measuring. And this goes up to a quarter of a cup. Awesome, awesome, thank you, Polly. So Polly bought these previously. And then the other things that I've gotten, how many of you have these types of things, but they've gotten old or they've gotten bent up? So it's just nice to refresh these and especially with some real high quality ones. So we've got the, the long skinny scraper and you've got the mini scraper. And you know, they do different things based on the size jar that you're trying to get into. And then you've got your classic batter scraper. My other classic batter scraper had been beaten up from sticking it down into a blender and it getting little chunks of, of the rubber taken off. And then these are the mix and scrape. So do you see how it is curved in the center? It's a mix and scrape. So you've got your regular size and then you've got your mini mix and scrape. So these are, these are awesome. And then I never have been a weigher and a measurer of things. In fact, the scale that I have up there, I use to measure outgoing mail. But I got this one from Pampered Chef and I actually have a little bit of fun measuring. This is the digital scale. So we can weigh things on here. It's got a nice little tear button that would bring it to zero. So let's say that I wanted to measure something in, let me get this. So let's say that I was measuring something in, in this right here, okay? Well, this already weighs something. So if I put that on the digital scale and I hit tear, it zeroes it out. So it won't measure this part. It'll only measure the new things. Uh, I don't know how much the digital scale is. I'll have to let you know in a second, but thank you for putting that in, I'll let you know. But this thing is awesome. And then you can turn it on and off. And it's very, very nice. So the digital scale. Now, Patty Bass, I know you love this thing right here. So this is a rack that goes with these silicone bowls. So Patty uses them to prep uh, food. And then, so we can put, what I've recently done is I've put mix, made Travis's spaghetti mix and I put it in here. And then last night I made the Shibboleth ice cream. And I, that's where, that's why two Two aren't here because they're in the dishwasher because I put these in there. And then you've got these little lids. Well, what I did was I made Travis's spaghetti mix and I made some other meat that I could just season up with taco seasoning and other things for when I needed it. And these just sat in my refrigerator. And then when I needed that, I would just take this off and dump it out and heat it up. So this is a great rack to have. It's really, really nice. 
And then I got this pizza peel. So it's got this little um, decline right here. And so you can put it, this underneath a pizza to get it out of the oven just to make things a little bit easier. Tim, my husband, picked that up. And then these are the brownie pans. So I know that y'all have seen these on other people's pages and things like that, but I have never shown you because I got them with an order and I haven't done one of these lives since then. This is the big one and this is the mini one. So these are the brownie pans. You can get either one individually or you can get them as a set. And then, oh yes, yes, Patty. Patty, that rack is awesome. And well, I'm gonna show you something in just a second that that rack is good to go with. But look right here. This is a sugar-free Pillsbury brownie mix. And so I bought this to make it in here. Now, if you are a Shibboleth member, we can use this, but you have to eat it with Kroger Carbmaster milk only. And it cannot be switched with fat-free Fairlife. It has to be Kroger Carbmaster only. But you don't use the oil in this. You use, I guess you pronounce it Fage, but you use the Fage total 0% rather than oil must be served with Kroger Carb Master Milk or health or, or health wise high protein chocolate um, hot chocolate. I'm gonna use the Kroger Carb Master Milk because I've got the regular flavor, the vanilla flavor, and the chocolate flavor in my fridge right now. And a twelfth of the recipe. Ooh, so I could make it right here and a twelfth of the recipe would be a snack. But actually it would be a perfect pairing snack because it has to be paired with the Kroger Carb Master or Fat Free Fair Life milk. So I've got that. And just say comment sold brownie pans if you want that. But anyway, I also have, if y'all have a, a Instapot, this, this is, this is Pampered Chef's version of an Instapot. It's called the Quick Cooker. I don't know how to use it. But anyway, it's a quick cooker. It's never had anything cooked in it at my house. But y'all might, might cook something in it. It just sits on the counter over here. But I do desire to learn to put something in there. I just haven't yet. But I, I, this thing right here is what I really want to show you. This is a cooking blender. This is not your regular blender. This is a cooking blender. So let's say that you wanted to cook soup. You could cook soup. Or if you wanted to um, do a heated puree or a sauce, this thing heats up and cooks the food. It cooks it, which is really cool. Um, That's for you, Patty. Okay, so the other thing, though, I made the Carbolite, the Shibboleth ice cream with it. It's called Carbolite. I made that in here last night. I also made an ump shake the other day, and it's just so frothy. But when I go to wash this, because the, this is cannot be put in the, it can't be put in these, you can't immerse it in water. So what this does is you just put a drop of dish soap in here with water. It heats it up and blows it all around and washes itself. And then you just rinse it out, which is great. So this is a cooking blender, not just a regular blender. This thing also would make alternative milk. It would also make um, peanut butter. This thing is phenomenal. These blades are like super heavy duty. Yeah, go ahead. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Patty. I think it makes it more fun. So, I told y'all when I joined uh, Pampered Chef that I was doing it to help me learn to cook. And then I told my husband it really hadn't helped me learn to cook. But then I decided to stay in it, so maybe I need to learn to cook. Um, oh, so anyway, when you're making those pureed soups and sauces and things like that, it really is a cool blender, Patty. These are awesome because then you can put the right amount of soup in each one and just have it ready. And you know, there's a lot of Shibboleth approved soups and everything. So anyway, just wanted to show you those things, but particularly I wanted to show you that avocado tool because I think if I'd had, if that avocado wasn't old, that it would have worked better. But the serrated side cuts through that tough outer shell and then the, the smooth side goes right in around and cuts that out. And then you could just slice it and put it on some toast to make some avocado toast and things like that. Of course, we have Shibboleth approved ways to make that if you are a Shibboleth member. 
So anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed my little late night Pampered Chef show. I will put some links in here, and if you want to order anything, please do. Make sure that you order it on Kim's show that's in there, so it'll all go on one order. So, because I'm looking to get at least $150 in orders before May 31st. Just to let y'all know, if you happen to order $50 $150 or more, it ships to you for free. If it is less than that, I think it's $7.95, which is really not that bad. Okay, Patty. Patty wants the avocado thing. That avocado thing is really, really cool. So, well, awesome. I'm gonna let y'all go so I can put some links in here and y'all have a great Saturday night and a great weekend. See you later.